Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. So a couple of weeks ago, one of um, my subscribers, and I also subscribed to her channel, I can't remember her name of her channel, but her name is Carla. I'll link it here. Uh, she did a video, it was called 11 interesting things you don't know about me, something along those lines. And then she tagged a couple people and one of them was um, Wendy. I think her channel's My Life Wendy. I'm not quite sure. I'll link her below. But anyway, her name is Wendy. And she just did the same video. And both of them said, you got, you should do it too. So I thought, you know what? I haven't done a get to know me in quite a while. I did do one last summer. I'll link that below if you're interested. And I thought today, this one is kind of um, interesting things you probably don't know about me. So th some of them I may have kind of touched on here and there, um, but I think for the most part these are all kind of weird things about me that you probably don't know. Weird or let's say interesting things. So the first one I'm going to say is I don't eat condiments. <laughs> Um, I don't eat gravy. I don't eat things on sandwiches, mustard, may mayonnaise, uh, relish. I have burgers just plain. I don't eat any of that stuff. I think I was 12 was the first time I had pancake syrup because I just didn't want any sauce or anything on my pancakes. And my cousin said, you got to try it. Said, no, I tried salad dressing for the first time in my life when I was 17 years old. I, and I didn't have it on salad. I used to work at a pancake place, um, kind of like IHOP, but the Canadian version, which was Smitty's. And um, all the girls there would dip fries into ranch dressing and that was the only way they could get me to try salad dressing. Um, I still don't eat salad dressing. I'll have oil and vinegar, but that's it. I just don't like condiments. No gravy, no nothing. And everyone thinks that's so weird about me, but I just, I just can't. <laughs> I just don't like sauces and things. It just I love spaghetti sauce, but I can't have sauces on stuff like eggs Benedict. Well, I don't eat eggs either, but that's a whole other thing. So like the sauce on eggs Benedict, forget it. So the next thing, and my husband thinks this is very weird and sadistic about me, but I I like looking at bones and skeletons. <laughs> I like seeing how things are put together. Like I like looking at a skeleton and seeing where everything meets and how it joins. I just find it very interesting, but yet I am so squeamish. I don't like blood and guts. I can't look at any blood or cuts or skin or muscles or anything like that. But if I see like just a plain white skeleton, I just really, really enjoy seeing how they all come together. And he thinks that's very, very strange about me. <laughs> Um, I used to be a real estate agent. It was a very, very short-lived career. Um, we had um, an experience with a realtor who was just absolutely awful. She was, um, she's still dubbed the best realtor in the town I live in and she was absolutely awful. Uh, just in a nutshell, we put an offer on a house and in exchange we said then she could list our house if they accepted and we never heard from her again. So I said, right. I'm going to get my realtor's license. So I went through the course. I actually did really, really well. And I got my license. I sold one house and I bought a house for a customer and I sold a house for a customer. That was the extent of my um, transactions, but I just found it incredibly stressful. I spent more time crying than working. Um, it was more, not the customers, it was more the other realtors. It was very cutthroat and people were very mean. So I really didn't enjoy it. Plus also I didn't feel it was very safe. Um, the, a realtor had been murdered um, in the town that I live in shortly before I got my license. So that was a little worrisome. Um, my dad would come with me to open houses because it just wasn't, if you think about it, I remember during my course, they said, you know, a prostitute will meet with strange people she doesn't know, get into their vehicles or meet them at remote locations by herself. And everyone thinks that would be nuts for somebody to do. And then he said, but yet a realtor also does that. And it just really frightened me. <laughs> um, and rightly so, especially since there was actually a murder um, where I live and it's still unsolved. So uh, that was another reason why I just thought, okay, that's enough. So um, I did have a real estate license for a short period and um, I'm glad, I mean, I enjoyed the, all the learning and all that and it was never, it's never going to be wasted, but yeah, it was definitely not a career for me. 
I am a huge car enthusiast. I have always loved cars. Uh, as I mentioned, I worked at Smitty's and um, I did that all through high school. So when all my friends were out partying, I was up at 6 a.m. serving coffee and pancakes and saving my pennies. And my mom and dad said to me, when you get your driver's license, whatever money um, you save up to get a car will match. Little did they know I saved up a lot of money <laughs> and they were a little bit shocked. So I'm gonna insert a photo. This was my very first car and it was a Daytona Shelby. I had uh, T-tops and I was just absolutely in love with that car. I've also driven a Mustang, a convertible Mustang. I had a Corvette um, that I will add. I bought it as in a standard version. My dad is a huge car buff as well. So that's kind of where I get it from. And I was 20, I think at the 21 maybe, and I wanted a new car and my dad went with me and we bought this black Corvette and I didn't even know how to drive it home. My dad had to drive it for me and I had to learn how to drive standard in this <laughs> new Corvette, which had a lot of power. And was, my mom was like, oh my God, I thought she was gonna come home with a Honda Civic. And my dad's like, oh no, not my girl. So I've always been a huge car enthusiast. Um, sports cars and all that kind of stuff. I just, I'm obsessed with cars, not muscle cars. I like um, newer version car. I'm not a muscle car kind of girl, but I just absolutely love cars. So yeah, that's kind of something that most people probably wouldn't suspect of me, but I am a little bit of a car girl. <laughs> um, I have mentioned a couple of times, but a lot of people ask me questions. So I thought I would just do a whole uh, answer on it and I have been a CFL cheerleader. I was with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers from 1991 to 93 so I had three years with them, three seasons. Uh, we worked from February right till the end of November depending if we were in Grey Cup so it was a full long season because we would uh, do tryouts like in February and we would practice and learn all the dance routines and all that kind of stuff before the first game which was usually in June. I absolutely loved it. I met so many lovely ladies. Um, it was just a very, very positive, wonderful experience. I got to meet John Candy. I actually um, did a performance right in front of him and he went, this, so it was very, very exciting. It was quite a few, well, many, many years ago. And he uh, bought the Toronto Argonauts with um, his friend Dan Aykroyd. And I remember it was so exciting. They came on the field in this big limo and in their fancy coats and suits. And it was just really, really exciting. So it was a really wonderful, positive experience for me. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I have made a thousand cupcakes for an event one time. Now it probably doesn't really, you kind of just say, okay, a thousand cupcakes, no big deal. But when you get down to the nuts and bolts of it, it is crazy. So quite a few years ago, um, my stepdaughter moved in with us and it was partway through the school. Well, the school year had already started and the school that was very, very close by to us had already started and we really wanted her to go there and it was quite a prestigious school and she had cousins there and we really, really wanted to get her in. So I went with her and I said, you know, I will be part of the parent groups if you want any kind of help with social committees and all that kind of stuff I'm happy to do. So they were having a spring fair and they said okay great do you want to do the spring fair and I thought perfect and I really enjoyed baking so I offered to do a cupcake cupcake stand and I went to all these meetings and we were chatting and you know we would talk about all these ideas and things and as these people were talking more I said you know like how many cupcakes are we talking here like 48 50 and they said uh we were thinking a thousand I was like oh my god so the logistics for that and like storing them so I had to bake them over like quite a few weeks to get that many I just did them in my home kitchen and so luckily the school allowed me to use their freezer space and then I had a whole bunch of people come over and we iced them all um, because that was a whole big thing so I can't even think how many eggs I went through and all the it was a lot but it <laughs> It was quite, quite fun. I mean, there was a lot of um, stress involved with it, but it was quite funny. And now it's quite a, a funny story for me to look back on, I guess. I have kind of a um, animal petting um, bucket list. I have pet a rhino, a kangaroo, a cheetah, a lion. Um, 
those are I have koala uh, a lot of those are kind of just the norm of an emu um, my husband and I go on safari every year we're not going this year this is the first time we haven't gone in quite a while um, but uh, we have elderly animals and we need a pet sitter so um, we're kind of putting the trip on the back burner for a while but when we go um, we've stayed often at a game reserve that is also an animal sanctuary and rescue and we'd seen pictures in the brochures but you know it's never really what it seems um, so anyway we arrived there at this one particular place it was called Tushikudu I'll link it below if you're interested and they were showing us around um, the game reserve and then we stopped by the pool and I'm like ah, 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 th th there's a cheetah and then he's like oh yeah that's in Tombi. Uh, she roams around here and her two brothers. Uh, she was orphaned as a baby and our lab actually nursed them and raised them. Uh, Golden Lab, a dog. And they live on the property, but they hunt and do their own thing. They may come on safari with uh, you guys. And sure enough, we get in the safari vehicle and, and Tombi sits in the front seat all ready to come with us. <laughs> and off we go on safari with this cheetah. Um, they also had a rhino. He was orphaned. It was just a tiny little guy and I got to touch him, which was really, it was a very hard hide with kind of prickly hair sticking out. Uh, we also rode on an African elephant. Um, which is huge. Um, one of the elephants that was actually there that we got to meet and greet uh, was from the Amarula um, liqueur, if you're familiar. I'll show a photo of it. And he was enormous. They're not like the uh, elephants you often see in Thailand that a lot of people go on rides on. These guys were enormous. So I really love animals and that is something that we really enjoy. And as I mentioned, I've even pet a lion. Uh, they had some lions and we'd go for a walk with us with a caracal as well. And the lions I was a little afraid of, um, but they were probably the size of a golden lab. They were teenagers, I guess. They were a little rambunctious for me and I was a little nervous of them. So I kind of steered away but they seemed friendly enough um, and when you touch them they felt just like a golden lab. The cheetah was very wiry like a, a Brillo pad. I expected him to be really soft but they were very um, rough So if, if any of you are interested in that. So I'll link some photos here because you might be interested. So on that same vein I love animals. I'm not afraid of most. Um, I love all animals. However I am terrified of horses. I don't know why. I'm just so scared of horses. Um, I don't know what it is, but I can't even touch one. I'm just so afraid and I don't have a reason. I've never been bit. I've never been startled. I've never had any negative experiences, but I'm just so deadly afraid of horses. The next one is I was a Winnipeg Sun girl and what that is, um, I don't think newspapers really do this anymore, but every Friday they would put a girl in a bikini and that was me and I really, really enjoyed it. I did it quite often. I was often featured many, many times and um, from that I would do a lot of promotional events um, and I really, really liked it. I met a lot of really, really great ladies. I just thought it was a very positive experience for me. Um, I know these days it's kind of frowned upon us same with all that kind of pageantry stuff but I really enjoyed it at the time and I thought it was really fun and I'll insert a photo here and every year they would do a year-end um, pageant and they pick all the girls well yeah they pick a favorite of the month and then all the 12 favorites from the month would then go to a pageant at the end of the year and I competed in that and I came second so that was pretty cool out of all those girls so I really enjoyed it and last but not least I met my husband at a nightclub and we dated for six months when we got engaged and we were married at eight and I was older. I was uh, 32. I was a month shy of my 33rd birthday when we were married. So I knew I, I waited for the right one. And when you know, you know. Um, but a funny story about it is um, I met him at a nightclub, which isn't really um, something you brag <laughs> about. But um, I met him at a nightclub, but of course I didn't tell my parents that. I told my mom I had met him at a restaurant. I mean, how do you meet a guy at a restaurant? But anyway, I told my mom I met him at a restaurant. So at my bridal shower, we did, you know, those little fun games. And one of the things was like, get, like answering questions. How well do you know Justine? And of course my mom said, well, obviously I'm going to win because I know everything about her. She's my daughter. So one of the questions was, was where did my, my husband meet? And so she's going through all her answers. Well, I've won, I've won. 
they met at a restaurant and my maid of honor was like, no, you got that wrong. Sorry. And my mom's like, no, no, they met at a restaurant. And I was like, oh, I'm going to kill you, Alana. <laughs> so I had to then confess. I actually met him at a nightclub, mom. And it was like, oh my God. Oh, that's terrible. But anyway, we met at a nightclub and we've almost been married for been married for almost 15 years. So I think it was okay. But don't tell your kids. I don't, definitely don't recommend that. But it worked out great for me. So anyway, those are kind of some weird things about me. Things you may not already know. Um, some of them I may have mentioned here and there. But I just thought maybe you might be interested. And that's it. So if any of you want to do this, um, I'm not actually going to tag somebody in case you're not comfortable. But if any of my subscribers have their own channels then I highly recommend doing this it's a lot of fun to try to think of some unusual things about yourself and share them with everyone some I know aren't the most glamorous but hey it's me so anyway I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you all again very soon bye